Okay, welcome back to Mark Scandal. Today, I want to do a two-part series um, on the AR-15. I want to try and dispel some myths on the Armalite 15, uh, some misconceptions. There is so much out there flying in the media and, and in politics today. Um, and there's so much confusion over what an AR-15 really is, an Armalite 15, what it really is. Uh, and how it functions. It's a semi-automatic rifle. Uh, and I want to do that by comparing it up against two other semi-automatic firearms. This one is a Remington Woodmaster Model 742, uh, chambered in 30-06. It's a deer hunting rifle. It also is a semi-automatic rifle. So it functions essentially the same as the AR-15. And then, believe it or not, I brought along a semi-automatic pistol uh, Beretta 92FS, which also functions exactly the same as the two rifles in terms of being semi-automatic. And what that means is one pull of the trigger, one fire of a cartridge. Um, so let's try to get some education and understanding around what an AR-15 is and what it is not. Um, and then in part two, I do want to get into some of the ballistic capabilities of the uh, the cartridges that all three of these fire. Uh, the 9mm Luger or 9mm Parabellum, same thing. Uh, the AR-15 223 round, the 556 by 45 um, which are often sort of, there's some misconceptions out there about them being just like a 22. Um, they're about the same size as a 22. One's a little bit smaller, one's a little bit larger. So uh, there's some truth to it being about the same size as a 22. So I have 22 LR round out here, and then I've got my 30 6 in FMJ full metal jacket, and then the uh, hollow point acrylic tip for deer hunting. So let's see if we can get some education about what an Armalite 15 is and what it is not, and try to understand what all the controversy around the AR-15 is when you realize it basically functions like my Remington deer hunting rifle, semi-automatic, and then my semi-automatic Breda 92FS pistol. Okay, so let's get going. Um, First of all, I cleared the ammunition. Uh, I always like to take ammunition out when I'm working with a firearm. Um, safety first all the time. Let's make sure these weapons are clear. Obviously have no magazines in them. Let's open the action, look down the barrel. We can see that there's no bullet in this one. Um, this other one, again, no magazine. We're gonna rack back the slide and we're gonna look down the barrel. We can see the round in there and that rifle is safe. So let's kind of start with what the AR platform is. Armalite developed this gun for civilian use in the late 1950s. It is a semi automatic rifle. What does that mean? That means every time you pull the trigger, one shot is fired. That's it. It's like any other semi-automatic weapon, firearm out there. Pull the trigger, fires round. I don't know where assault rifle comes from. I don't know where automatic rifle comes from. The AR and AR-15 comes from the original designer manufacturer of the of the platform, which was Armalite. 15 happens to be the 15th version of the rifle, hence AR-15. Now, there's a lot of other manufacturers that build the AR-15 platform. Uh, in this case, I have Stag Arms out of New Britain, Connecticut. This rifle is actually called a Stag 15. It's on an AR platform. I grant you that but it's called the Stag 15. This other one down here is Eagle Arms, and it's called an Eagle 15. Eagle Arms is actually a division of Armalite. So these are both AR platforms. 
Now, again, these are semi-automatic rifles. That means every time you pull a trigger, I'm going to repeat myself, you fire a cartridge. If these were assault rifles or automatic rifles, every time you pull the trigger back and hold it, it would continuously fire ammunition rounds until you actually ran out. The magazine actually ran out and you had to switch the magazine. That is fully automatic. Those weapons are without the proper licensing, 100% legal in the United States. Now, you can, you can get a license for fully automatic weapons in some states. Uh, it's federal license. You gotta go through all kinds of background checks. Um, and it takes a long time to be able to actually own and operate a fully automatic weapon. So the AR-15 has got this very bad reputation of being an assault rifle or an automatic rifle, when in fact, it's just a semi-automatic rifle. Now, granted, they might look scary. They've got a handle. Um, they have these rail systems, all these aftermarket parts. That's why they are so popular. You can put scopes on it. This one I have folding iron sights. Uh, it's really the only aftermarket item that I have on this Eagle Arms are the folding iron sights. Um, but you can put all types of other systems in here. The other thing about the AR-15 is um, the, the stock, right? So you, it's got an adjustable rear stock. So if you're shorter, uh, your arms aren't quite as long, you can slide the stock in and make it more comfortable for sports shooting. So let's get into the selector switch over here now if this were an actual automatic rifle this selector switch would have a safe a fire and then either a burst or fully automatic uh, option on it these do not so let me bring this right up to the camera so it's very easy to see you can see the selector switch says either safe or fire it's your safety <laughs> it's not a selector switch to go between semi-automatic and fully automatic it is your safety like any other semi -automatic. it's very it's very hard to explain it any more simple than that so Let's compare this up against a different semi-automatic rifle. Okay, so here's a Remington Woodmaster Model 742 semi-automatic rifle, chambered in 30 6 This looks like your grandfather's deer hunting rifle. Let's do a weapons clear on it. There's no magazine. Open the action. You can look down the barrel and see there's not a cartridge down the barrel. This gun is safe. Again, this is a semi-automatic rifle. Although the actions are different, they function exactly the same, the AR-15 and the Remington Woodmaster are semi-automatic rifles. One pull of the trigger, one cartridge is fired. Again, you can't really make it any simpler than that. I'm not sure how and why there is so much confusion over and controversy over the AR-15 versus something like this that looks pretty innocuous. It looks like your grandfather's deer hunting rifle. That's scary at all, but they function the same way. Okay, so now we have both semi-automatic rifles back together, right? Um, not sure what makes the AR-15 so scary. Is it the pistol grip? Potentially. Looks scary? I don't know. Is it the fact that it's colored black? I don't know. Um, the Woodmaster, Remington Woodmaster, has a handle too, but it's not a pistol grip. The handle just happens to be back here, and it's part of the rear stock. I think with the AR-15, when you slap a 30-round magazine into it, 
This is an empty magazine. But when you, when you slap a 30 round magazine into it, now this really starts to look a lot more like a combat rifle, assault rifle used by the military. And I assure you it's not. It's still the same semi-automatic rifle. Trigger pull, one cartridge down the barrel. It just happens to have a 30 round magazine. Now, the AR-15 also offers a 10 round magazine. If I would put a 10 round magazine in there, it doesn't look quite as scary. It doesn't really look like a military style weapon, does it? Well, either way, whether I have a 10 round magazine or a 30 round magazine, it's exactly the same rifle. 30 round magazine gives you a little bit more firepower. However, nothing that would stop me from having three 10 round magazines on me and just switch them out. Now, the magazines on the Remington Woodmaster, similar situation. They don't offer a 30 round magazine. What they do offer is a five round magazine and a 10 round magazine. No different than the AR. I got a 10 round magazine, empty mag, slap it in the rifle, and you're ready to go hunting. Now that doesn't even look scary, right? Even with the 10 round mag hanging out of there, it doesn't look scary. So there's your differences in your automatic rifles. They are exactly the same. They just happen to look different in one, thanks to the 30 round capacity magazine in there, happens to make it look a little bit scarier and a little bit more like a military weapon, which it is not. Now, let's compare it up against the Beretta 92FS. I chose a pistol for a reason. So let's do our standard safety check. No magazine, no cartridge in the chamber. We are clear. This pistol, although the action is completely different from the Remington, from the AR-15 platform, it is still a semi-automatic firearm. That means every time you pull a trigger, it's going to send a round down the barrel. They all operate exactly the same. I'm not sure if that helps at all. I tried to simplify it as much as possible. AR, say it again, does not stand for assault rifle. It does not stand for automatic rifle. It's the name of the original manufacturer in the 1950s, Armalite. 15 is the 15th version of the rifle while it was under development. Hence, AR-15. Hope it helps. This is part one. Part two, I'm gonna get into some of the ballistics of the cartridges that all of these weapons fire. See if that brings even a little bit more light on the AR-15. Thanks for checking in. If you do like what you're seeing on the channel, please hit like, hit subscribe, leave some comments. Maybe I forgot something, maybe you have questions. Um, always happy to answer them, take some feedback. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you for part two.